Good morning, Saw Yackers. Check out this sunrise. What a beautiful morning. Thanks for uh, the click, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit. We are out today with our friend Bob. Bob is down all the way from, I guess, what we might call the deep north. <laughs> He's actually here from Canada visiting, and we're going to bring him out here and try and get him on some fish. So we appreciate you guys joining us. Everybody get comfortable. Let's go fishing. All right, guys. Mr. Bob is on. We've been on the water for probably, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. And look at him go. He ain't wasting any time. Oh, he would dink, but hey, he's be Okay, so now that's actually a, if I can get a little close. Okay, yeah, it's a speckled trout. Yep. Yeah. Looks like all the pictures I've seen. Yeah. There's, a, there's another species that I catch a lot of out here that's similar, but it's called a silver trout or a white trout. Looks exactly the same, but he has no spots. See his fangs that I'm talking about in the top of his mouth? Good job. He gone. <laughs> yeah, let's not get to know him, right? Hey, good job, dude. Now all we got to do is size up. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I'll take that as an icebreaker. That's right, the skunk is out of the boat. <laughs> Alright, check it out, Mr. Bob got the first keeper trout of the morning, 15 and a half inches. Maybe there's not so much difference between those crazy Canadian lake trout and the speckled sea trout, huh? <laughs> well, not a whole lot. I'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, let me think here. I'm gonna come around on this side because that's the side where I've got the lid facing. I'm gonna bleed him out before I put him in the cooler. We'll dispatch him and, man, that's a pretty fish. You know what? Let's get a picture of you for that. Sure. And I'll send it to you. Yeah, that's a beauty, man. What we may want to do now is drop the anchor here. Yeah, it should be right there behind your right hand, I think is where I put it. Well, Mr. Bob over here fighting another fish. He tearing them up. Oh, he's a bit small. Okay. Well, good job. By the rod bend, I thought you had a better fish. What do we got here? A baby redfish. Baby, baby, baby. But if you've never seen a red, you should see them because they are beautiful. This is a baby. The keeper slot on reds is from 18 inches to 27 inches that we can keep them. Less than 18 or greater than 27, they got to go back. This guy definitely has to go back, <laughs> but I still love to catch him. You saw how even this little guy... You let your client catch them. I know, that's right? What I, that's what I saw go by. Okay. Except Three times, times that, yeah. 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 Well, it was, it was a big fish, like really big. But check him out, guys. Isn't he beautiful? They have this really great blue color on their tails. See a little guy. Thank you. Very cute, though. But you saw how even one that small, how they can fight. Mm -hmm. So let's. That's the most fight with that all day. So let's get you on a big one. So just cast the areas where we have not been yet. Hey, look at here. This one might go in the box. Might make it. We're gonna just put the pliers. From the wind. Ah! 14 and three quarters. <laughs> he gone. Check this out, guys. It's getting a little rough out here. It's been like this for probably about the last hour. We've got, oh, I'd say 15 to 20 mile an hour wind, and it's kicked up 
the water a bit rough on us and uh but we're staying out because you know what the fish are biting <laughs> and when the fish are biting you stay out so you guys stick around let's see if it keeps happening what is this it's not a trout this is not a trout what is it oh god it's in my drive oh, oh it's a little jack wait a minute hold up Hold up! Hold up! Ha! Woo! That is not a jack! Ah! We've been looking for this! Come on over here! You're over here in the rough water. Oh, dude, that head looks not. Oh, yeah, that's got to be a keeper. Got to be a keeper. <laughs> the only drawback to that tall seat. <laughs> yes! Look at that stud trap. Hold up, picture time. Hey, right, I'm gonna come up next to you and I'll bleed him in boxing. Okay, you got him in there. That's cool. Yeah, I would like to. It'll taste a lot better for you if I bleed him first. But no, no, no worries. We're hustling to get to Bob. He's maybe a hundred yards away from us. And I think he just got a fish and I heard him saying it's big. So we're gonna go over there and see what he's got. <laughs> I can tell you though, he took that boat, or excuse me, he took that fish and flipped it into his boat and immediately got his lure back in the water. So that tells me he's hoping to find another one there in that same spot. These trout often are in schools by size. So if you find a big one, it often behooves you to work that spot because there's often more than one in that area. And I'd say he's looking for that. Oh, he got another fish on over there. Let's see if he reaches for his net. Or if he just boat flips. Oh, he's going for the net. That looks like another good fish, maybe. That looks like another good one. Good job, dude. He over here killing the giants. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, 
Let's just see what he's got. Nice. You got two of them you can hold up? Oh, you already got it in there? Okay. That one's 17. Yeah, dude, that's that's the biggest one of the day. Holy shit, we need a better picture. Hold up. That's a beauty. Yeah, nice job, dude. Let me bleed him real quick. We'll do. Move this rod out of the way. Gently there. Nice job, brother. I'd say you figured out their little. They're on the edge where the uh, dark and the, and the brown meet here. Oh, don't do <laughs> right? <laughs> don't, don't be that guy. See ya. <laughs> All right, so we are limited out on trout, and we got one pump in the box. I'm gonna see if I can close that cooler with my rod here. Oh, right, it's, all good, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I got it. Boom. All right, so from here if we're limited on trout what do we want to do next i think let's uh troll back to that first island kind of where we started along the way we'll have some fun with some more trout along the way but hopefully maybe pick up another pompano or some mackerel on the way over there and then when we get there we'll tuck up behind it and look for some redfish behind it I'm hip. I'm with it. We did not have cameras running because I was far away, but Mr. Bob just hooked up and look what he got. He got a nice little red. And what did he measure? 16. Oh, darn. Good for him. He gets to go back. What a beautiful fish. Look at the blue at the bottom of his tail. He is gorgeous. Wowie. Congratulations, brother. That's a little beauty right there. Go and grow. <laughs> the islands never disappoint. Woo! All right, so all you actors, it's another day in the books. Uh, had an amazing day with Bob on the water today. It's amazing how quickly when you meet a new guy and you spend a little time fishing together, it's amazing how quickly it feels like you're just fishing with an old buddy. Uh, I really enjoyed Bob today. Bob, if you watch this, man, Thanks for coming down. Thanks for hanging out with us. Had a friggin' blast with you. Hope we get to do it again sometime. Caught a lot of fish today. Got back here, got gear cleaned up, got myself cleaned up, and uh, chilling for a little bit now. Uh, caught a lot of trout, a couple of undersized redfish, uh, stud pompano, all kind of cool stuff today. It was a beautiful day on the water and a beautiful experience. Remember, guys. Get up off that couch, get out there and do this stuff. Cause you know what? If you don't go, you know the rest, you don't know. See ya!